Number 100, identify the molecules with a dipole moment. And then we have Cl2, Cc, Br2. Okie dokie. So we just have to find out, does this molecule have a dipole moment? And dipole moments, dipole, are only in found in molecules that have a uh, pole, that's a polar molecule. So dipole goes with polar molecules. Now a dipole moment specifically is when you have a unequal pull of electrons to one side of the molecule, whether it's up, down, left, right, diagonal, it doesn't matter, but there has to be an unequal sharing or an unequal pull of electrons towards one side of the molecule. This can be seen playing like tug of war. When one of the people that are playing the tug of war pulls the rope farther away from the other team, that's an unequal pull. So same thing with, you know, chemistry. They, some atoms are really, really greedy. The more electronegative, el um, the more electronegative atoms, they will pull the electrons towards themselves. Now in here, I don't really see any bonds right? I'd like to see the bonds because then I can see the symmetry, if the molecule is symmetrical, if it's asymmetrical. So what we can do is just take a few seconds and draw the Lewis structure. The Lewis structure will give you a lot of pieces of information, whether it's hybridization, molecular geometry, um, molecular polarity, bond polarity. So always draw the Lewis structure if you need to. It will unlock a lot of answers. Now there's tons of videos on the channel just designated to helping you draw Lewis structures. So if you do need a little bit more guidance, you could always check those videos out and I'm there with you every step of the way. But for this one, try to pause the video and see if you can write your Lewis structure. Then see if it matches mine. All right, so let's go for it. So it seems like with more larger molecules like this, where you don't have like a predetermined central atom, always work from left to right seems like I have two chlorines that are bound to a carbon, which are bound to a carbon, which are bound to the two bromines. So I have the carbons, and then I have two chlorines that are attached to the one carbon. Now it doesn't matter whether you put them on the side like this or one, you know, one up, one down, it really doesn't matter. And maybe I'll make this one a little bit. There you go. And then we'll do that. And then we'll do bromine and bromine. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just bring this down a little bit. Okay. Now all the halogens, when they're not in the center, they always like to have just one bond. So they have to bind to the center guy. So single bond, single bond, chlorines or halogens, single bond with bromine, single bond with bromine. And each halogen has to have the six electrons to get the octet. So there we go. We're almost there. And then for the carbon, we still need to make that bond, right, to get them together. But each carbon doesn't have the octet. They have two, four, six electrons, two, four, six for the other one. So it needs a double bond to get it to the octet. Okay. Now, Let's snap it out. In order to find out if you have a polar or nonpolar molecule, just snap it out. S-N-A-P. If your molecule is completely symmetrical and everything looks good, the bonds look good, the elements look good on both sides, it's a nonpolar molecule. And nonpolar molecules have no dipole. But if your molecule is asymmetrical, it's classified as polar, and the polar ones have the dipole moment. So if I try to split this down the middle, it seems that I would split it right where that double bond is. And I just take note as to what the left side is saying in terms of the right side. On the left side, you have all chlorines, chlorine dominant on the left side. But on the right side, you have your carbons bound to the bromine. Are these the same? No, they are not. So they are not symmetrical. This is asymmetrical. 
and if you're asymmetrical, you have a polar molecule. In this case, the way that I drew it here, the pull of electrons is going to be towards the more electronegative element, and chlorine is more electronegative than bromine, so the chlorine side is going to be pulling those electrons towards them. But it's got a dipole moment, so, well, actually, it, it has, it's a polar molecule, so it has a dipole moment. It's got that pull. And that's the end for this one. Box it off, and we are good to go. Whoop, whoopy. Okay. Eee, that looks good enough. All right, thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, we got thousands of videos on the channel just to help you guys succeed in your classes. We got physics videos and math videos and more subjects to come in the future. So always check back. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.